swimming. I'm going for a swim in the Mississippi River. Oh my gosh, you can't go swimming in there. Haven't you ever heard of the dead zone? It's a dead zone? Well, the dead zone is... Wait a minute, Missy. The dead zone is actually caused by pollution runoff in the Mississippi River that flows down to the Gulf of Mexico, which leads to the death of much marine life. Oh, it's a dead zone. I wonder how many people know. Hey, can I bother you for a second? Sure, I guess. Can you tell us your name and major, please? Uh, my name is Gretchen. I'm a bioethics major. Uh, I'm Dennis Hogan, I'm an environmental ed major. Uh, my name is Barbie, and I'm a public design major. Do you know what the dead zone is? Yeah, I wrote my senior thesis about the dead zone. Is that like a TV show or something? Which one? Because there's a lot of dead zones. Dead zones are large regions of water that are very low in oxygen and therefore cannot support life. The largest of these dead zones is located in the Gulf of Mexico, where it spans 22,000 square kilometers, about equal to the size of Massachusetts. Barbie, do you know what causes the dead zone? God? There's a lot of different reasons, but mainly, as the Mississippi travels down um, through the United States, a lot of different things are dumped in the, the Mississippi River because there's a lot of different cities that border the Mississippi River that just dump a lot of shit in there. Well, my friend, nitrates from fertilizers enter the Mississippi River. These nitrates flow down the river and into the Gulf of Mexico where they cause excessive algae growth. The water becomes hypoxic and can no longer support life. How do you think the dead zone will affect your life? Is it going to affect my spring break trip to Cancun? You know what? I think it might. The Gulf of Mexico is a major marine source for the seafood industry. The Gulf supplies 72% of the U.S. harvested shrimp, 66% of harvested oysters, and 16% of commercial fish. Consequently, if the oxygen depleted area continues or worsens, fishermen and coastal state economies will be greatly impacted. Is there anything we can do to stop the dead zone? Well, stop polluting the Mississippi and also stop dumping all that nasty water from all the cities along the coast. Nothing. Here's what you can do. Use fewer fertilizers in order to limit runoff of excessive nutrients. Control animal waste so that they are not allowed to enter waterways. Monitor septic systems and sewage treatment facilities to reduce discharge of nutrients to surface water and groundwater. If you can't fix any of this directly, lobby your state legislator and urge them to do something about it. Thank you.